Hello, this is Steph, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to illuminate an exterior scene in 3D Max with the V-Ray Sun and Sky. Now here, I have built a building to use in this scene as an example. To start with, we will set up some V-Ray camera views in the plan view. So go to camera, select V-Ray, select physical camera, and pick and drag. Now to go to the V-Ray view, you just simply click here, cameras, V-Ray cam. Now as you can see, we are in the ground, so what you want to do is pick the camera and drag it up. Next we will set up the rendering settings. Go to the render setup and change the renderer to V-Ray, which is here. Change the renderer to V-Ray 5. In the global switch rollout, override the materials. So we'll go to global switches. We want to override the materials. Select the material, V-Ray MTL. We also want to make sure that displacement is unticked to make the renderer faster. Select the image sampler rollout. We want to use the progressive, which is the default. Now I'll go down to here and change the noise threshold to 0, 3. Sorry, 0.3. For our color mapping rollout, we will we will leave the default as Reinhardt, but we want to reduce the burn value to 0.2. Now press default and it will change to advanced. Ensure that it says color mapping only. Now head over to the GI. We want to change the subdivs to a value of 500. Okay, go back to the V-Ray tab, select IPR, start IPR. This will give you a view of your render. We want to apply. So as you can see, the render is completely black and this is because we have not added the V-Ray sun yet. So let's go to the light panel and select read V-Ray sun. Light panel. V-Ray, V-Ray Sun, which we want to do in the plan view. Select where you want your sun angle to come from and drag it across. Select yes and he head back to your V-Ray camera to see what it looks like now. We need We've cut off half of the building, so we want to adjust this slightly. Head back. Not good enough. So you just continuously change your camera view until you're happy with one. Okay, that's pretty good. So as you can see, it's pretty dark, so we want to change the sun angle higher. So to do this, you just select the sun and drag it up. There you go. Head back to this and there you go. Now to change the exposure, because it's looking pretty light, we want to open the environment by pressing 8. On the keyboard. Sorry, eight. Okay, that's not working, so we just want to go to environment. Here we go. You want to also open your slate mask editor, which is here, and you want to drag the V ray sun over to here as an instance. Yes. 
click the V-Ray sky in the active view and go to the parameters. We want to select, select this one, click none and press the sun. Now you can change all the parameters of the V-Ray sun in the slate material editor. Okay, so you can also change the intensity through the camera settings. So what we'll do is we'll close this, close this. So we want to click here, go to V-Ray. Then we want to select camera and go to modifier. So in the modifier, we want to go to color and exposure rollout and change the exposure. So we'll close these. So we want to click this in here. As you can see, it's very bright. So if we were to change that to 10, it's actually going to go brighter. So we want to change it to maybe 16. It's quite dark still, 15, maybe 14. We'll leave it as 15. Okay, so 3D Max has recently made a new sky model which is named Improved, and this is a new sky which looks more realistic to, to the previous one. So we want to do this, we want to go back to the Material Editor. And you can do this by heading over to the sky model and clicking Improved. As you can see, the the sky is much more realistic. Um, I'm thinking I won't change this to 14 actually. Okay. So next, if you want to soften the shadows, you want to select the sun in the viewport. And go to the modifier. And so the size multiplier will change the sharpness of these shadows. So if you wanted to, right now you can see they're quite sharp. If you change it to say 20, you can see how the, the shadows have softened. I personally like them sharp, so we will leave it at that. Now to replicate a sunset, we can go to an elevation and move the sun to a low angle. Top, back. So we can just move this down, which looks like it has a quite low sunset. Now let's add some contrast to this render. Go to the frame buffer, which is this, and make a new layer, which is called curves. Okay, so to change the contrast, you just need to change this into a form of an S. Do this by dragging, dragging that. So it's really changed the contrast. Now, say this is exactly what we want. To render this, we'll click the teapot apply and hit the render button. So once your render is complete, you are actually still able to adjust up here. So if we wanted to say, uh, cancel some saturation, we can just do that here. We can make that completely black and white. But say this is exactly what we wanted, we just needed to click save, Oh, sorry, no. We just want to click save. Save this on wherever you want. And make sure you save it as a JPEG. Save. OK. Close these. And here is your render.
Thank you for your time.